back to DNA on the go. Today we are reviewing The Last Duel. So this movie was about, this movie was written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck, which is crazy because they, they did the um, Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting back in the day. They got an Academy Award for it. Yeah, and I, I can see them getting another Academy Award for this movie. This was this was really well done. Yeah. Um, so this movie was about two men who, I don't even know how to explain the, the, the plot. Yeah, it's hard to explain the plot without giving it away, but it's basically a story that was, based, it's based on a true story that happened in time about the last duel in France because um, they had outlawed duel years before and Matt Damon and Adam Driver are friends at one point that end up in this last duel over something that happened to Matt Damon's wife yes and um, Adam yes Adam Driver's character did something horrible right. I don't want to give it away because it's really good well, this we, don't movie, have to, we don't have to give yeah. it away we'll just talk about how the movie is so yeah yes and um, and so Matt Damon's character like the, all, of the, all of the actors in this movie Excellent. are are A-list actors. And they're A-list actors for a reason. Because Bat Damon really engrossed into this movie. And you don't see The Martian anymore. You don't see, like, Interstellar Guy. You don't, you know, you don't see that anymore. You just see this character. Yeah, he's not and boring. same with Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck's character was my favorite. Like, the was way, he Pierre? Yes. The way his acting was the best out of all of it. And he wasn't even in the movie as much. He, yeah. He wasn't even in it as much. But his acting, I was like, yeah, I believe it. He's yeah. horrible. So I believe it. The movie stars Ben Affleck, <laughs> Adam Driver, um, uh, Matt Damon, and, and Jamie Kumar, who is from uh, Killing Eve. And also uh, Free Guy. And Free Guy. She's really good in Free Guy. But she's, yeah. she's unrecognizable in Free Guy. Right, From yeah, the yeah, person yeah. her roles. But in this role, you can recognize her. And um, everybody did an awesome job. This acting for this movie was outstanding. It was mm -hmm. well written. The screenplay was well written. Ben Affleck and, and Matt Damon, like you said. Um, I believed Matt Damon. Like, he was different. I, I believed it. And this movie was, if you look at it, it was shot three different perspectives. Yeah. And everybody's perspective. You felt like you, felt like you were a, a juror. Yeah. Like, that was also yeah. part of it. You felt like a juror. You were like, I want to know everybody. I want to know all the sides. <laughs> right, I want right. to know everything about this situation. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. And you felt it, like a juror. It was. Because yeah. even, though, even though all three perspectives were sh the same that you're going to see, the, the nuances in people's faces and the circumstances of what's happening is small enough to see that, okay, everybody saw it differently. Right. And it was it was, it was great. It was, really it was a really great. good movie. Yeah, really, and, yeah. and um the movie is two hours and thirty three minutes, but it was well paced. I yeah. I thought it was very well paced comparing it to the pacing in in um No No Time to Die, which is around the same it's a I the, No Time to Die is like fifteen minutes longer. Yeah. But that long. movie that movie felt just so long. Yeah, no long no time to, <laughs> we, we will be talking about No Time to Die tomorrow um on uh and our usual, yes. usual DNA, uh, we'll be doing spoilers on that one as well because it's been like a week now, so it's long enough for us to talk about it. But back to this movie. This movie was really good. I really like good this. Good pacing, yeah. good acting. The story was well written. Um, and uh, I can't I can't say enough about how it felt when I came out of there. It was a, it was a good conversation piece. You will have conversations about this as you come out because there are things that are happening there. You're like... You know why they do this? Why right. they do that? And what you think is going to happen um, doesn't. And then the very end, the duel, man, it's so it's so Don't intense. Don't give it away! Don't give well, it away! I will not. But it's but, so intense yeah. that you're like, who's going to win? So it's awesome. You get into it. Yeah, the the action was really well done. I think this movie is rated R because there was it's got to be rated. R. Yeah, there was blood in like the the, the fight scene. Yeah, yeah. So, this movie's got to be rated um, R. It's, uh, there's no way it's PG thirteen. Yeah, it, it probably is. Um, so yeah, rated R. Yeah, this movie. You're going to really like the action. You're going to like the story. Because I, I wanted it to keep going. I didn't feel like myself being like, oh, I don't care anymore. I'm bored. Right. I wanted it. I was like, I need to know more. I want to know more. So, yeah, definitely go watch this movie. I give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. I don't even know. Maybe even more. Maybe, like, I'll give it a 9, actually. Because, I like, as I can't, like yesterday it was 8.5 when I did my original critic. But it's a 9 now because this movie just was really good. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It was a really good movie. There was, for me, personally, it didn't have to be 2 hours and 32 minutes. This movie could have been this movie could have been two hours and fifteen minutes, maybe a little less than that. Because there's parts of it that they just restated twice and it was stretching scenes longer than it need to be. Um, but no, it was good. It was a good movie. Now, what's good thing? I will say one thing good about this movie is they didn't waste a lot of time with love scenes that you didn't need to know about. Um, you, mm -hmm. you could see it happen, it happened, and that was it. It wasn't a lot of wasted time. Even the fight scenes, nothing yeah, that happened nothing in the fight scene yeah. that didn't need to happen. It wasn't just dragging it on to drag on. So 
even though it's 232 yeah. minutes, it's a good 232 yeah. minutes. Yeah, all the information you need yeah. is there. Yeah, so it's good. I'll give it. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Yeah, and I see. I see it. Um, getting a, an Oscar in the future, like getting a nom. Not get. I don't know about getting an Oscar. We'll have to wait in the next two months to see what movies come out. But nominated for sure. Yeah, it's gonna get nominated for something for sure. Screenplay or the costumes. Uh, something. Costumes for sure. Uh, Set design, Matt Damon may get something as well in this. Jamie yeah. Comer may get something. Ben Affleck. Even though I liked him in it, I can't. I don't see where he would get something for this. Um, even though I liked his character in mm. this, he wasn't in it long enough. Uh, well, it's not even that. Sometimes you just the way you bring it. You could be in a movie. J uh, Jane mm. Judy Dench won an Academy Award for being in the movie for five minutes. Oh wow! <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how long you're in a movie. It's just how you bring to the scene. So it's just you know we'll we'll see if, if he gets one. But yeah, overall, go see this movie in the theaters. You definitely got to see it in the theaters because it's such a large scale yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to enjoy it on a TV screen. You've got to see this thing in the theater because there's some big battles that are happening. Yeah, that's all we have, we have to say about this movie. Make sure to go check it out because it's definitely a one to go see. Um, tomorrow we're going to be seeing Halloween, so make sure to tune in to our regular scheduled DNAs on Friday so we can talk about our non-spoiler of, of Halloween. Um, and then we'll talk about uh, No Time to Die and some other stuff that's coming up because there's just a lot. Um, make sure to subscribe, comment, and also make sure to follow us on Twitter at InWoodley. And we'll see you all next time. All right, guys. Bye. Have a good one.